Hi, my name is Claire. I'm going to be your cardiologist for today. Can I ask your name and date of birth, please? Hi, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Okay, good. So you're here for your full um, cardiac examination, is that correct? Yes. Do you know what this research involves? No? Okay, I'll explain it to you. What we're going to do today is we are going to first make an ultrasound of your heart that gives me the option to take a look at your heart from the inside. Then I'm going to do a physical examination. I'm going to listen with my stethoscope to your heart rate in your heart, in your chest, your back, also in your neck. I'm going to check your neck also. I'm going to check the rest of your face and your hands. Okay. And at last, we are going to do an ECG scan. Yes. It's with the electrodes, and we're going to monitor your heart rate for a while. And then I can see and decide whether you're healthy or not. Yes. So I have a couple more questions for you. Is there any specific reason why you came here? Why you decided that you wanted to have a uh, heart examination? Okay. Okay. So you have the feeling that your heart has to pump really hard and you get dizzy sometimes, okay? Okay, well, we're going to check it out. Do you know if um, your family has a history of heart disease? No? Okay, that's good. Yes. And um, if you would describe your own health lately, how would you describe it? Is there anything else that I should know before we get started? No? We can get started? Okay. Do you have any questions for me? No? Okay. Well, then we're going to get started by um, uh, beginning with the ultrasound, okay? What I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to add um, a bit of gel to your chest makes it more easier for the machine, the ultrasound machine, to take a look at your, um, at your heart, okay? So if you would like to take off your shirt for me, yes, then I'll grab the, uh, the gel. It's kind of cold, the gel, but don't worry, as soon as I put on the the machine and spread it over your chest. You'll be fine. How are you feeling? Are you relaxed? Are you comfortable? Okay. Okay. I'm going to put it on your chest, okay? Yes. Very good. I'm going to spread it a bit. Perfect. Okay. So, what we can do now, what, what I will do now, <laughs> you can just stay here and sit back, relax, and I'll do the hardest part for you. Um, I'm going to uh, prepare the ultrasound machine. Okay? Just give me a second and I'll come back with the machine. So are you ready? Yes? Are you comfortable? Good. Well, this is the machine I was talking about. The ultrasound machine. And I'm going to use this to project your heart on this monitor. Okay? Alright. So I'm going to put it on your chest now. Just relax. Yeah. I'm going to turn on the machine now. Going to look for good clear vision of your heart. Just checking. Yes. Oh 
always takes a while before I find it. Yes, this is better. Ah, there it is. Look at that. It's beating at a nice pace. Yes, as you can see, um, the heart is divided into four chambers, the upper left and right atria, and the lower left and the right ventricles. You see that? Yeah. And the atrium is the upper chamber through which the blood enters the heart. There are two atria in the human heart. Hmm? And the left atrium is connected to the lungs. And the right atrium is connected to the blood circulation system. As you can see here, the blood flowing in and out of your heart. And in a healthy heart, the blood flows one way through the heart due the heart valves. You can see them going up and down. And they prevent backflow of the blood. Hmm. Yes. This looks good. It looks good. Let me see if I can find a better. Yes, view. Okay. Well, the heart pumps blood with um, with a rhythm determined by a group of pacemaking cells. And these generate a current that causes contraction of the heart traveling along, the blood traveling along the uh, conduction system of the heart. Hmm. You can see here the valve. Going up and down in a very smooth rhythm. Yes. This looks good. This looks like a very healthy heart to me. <laughs> well, the heart receives blood in low oxygen from the circulation system through your whole body. And it's, it enters the right atrium and passes to the right vertical. Yes. So from right to right. <laughs> and from here it's pumped through the lungs. And there it receives oxygen. And it gives off carbon dioxide. Now, when the blood is um, rich of oxygen, then it returns to the left atrium. And it passes through the left vertical. Ventricle. <laughs> and it's pumped out through the aorta into the circulation system all the way through the rest of your body. And then, there the oxygen is used again, yeah. Well, normal heart rate for a healthy person is, in rest, it's uh, approximately 72 beats per minute. Well, that was the end of the examination with the ultrasound machine. This looks perfectly normal to me. This looks like a healthy heart. So the first part of the examination, you pass flawlessly. 
that means that we can continue to the next part, yes? Are you relieved so far? Yeah, good. Are you comfortable? Yes. Well, please sit back and relax while I get rid of the ultrasound machine so we can continue. Okay? Good. So that was a very good first test. Yes. So we can continue to the physical examination. Yes. And that means that I'm going to start by checking your carotid arteries and these run up each side of your neck right here and just like any arteries in your heart and elsewhere in your body these can get become clogged with fatty uh, deposits and this uh, can narrow the artery which means that uh, this can increase the, uh, the risk of a stroke. So that's why it's important for me to check your carotid arteries. Okay? Well, first, if you can remove your hair a bit to the side, yes. Good. Then I'm going to feel a bit. Okay, and then I'm going to listen with my stethoscope. Okay. Just relax. And sit back. You'll be fine, okay? Okay, I'm just going to touch you, yes? I'm going to gently push a bit. circular movements just to feel like what the artery feels like, okay? That one felt good. Continue to the other side. Okay. Yes, just gently pushing. Are you okay? Yes. It shouldn't be painful. If it is, please let me know, okay? You should be fine. Okay. Okay. That feels good. Nothing that concerns me. So now I'm going to listen to to them. Okay. So please hold still. I'm going to put my stethoscope to your neck, okay? And when I'm listening, could you please hold your breath for a few seconds, okay? I'll count down from three to one, okay? And then you hold your breath, yes? Okay. Three, two, one. Breathe normally again. Are you okay? Good. Now the other side, please. Okay, I'm putting it on your neck. Okay. Three, two, one. the temperature, check your nails, okay? And the rest of your fingers, okay? Let's 
let's start with this hand yes well the temperature feels good yeah not cold not clammy hands no just good no clubbing nails you know what clubbing nails are clubbing nails are when your um, your nail grows very round even over the top of your finger fingertip yes and it could be an indication of a heart disease which you have not so you're fine and I'm also checking your nails for splinter hemorrhages and that means that uh, it can be like small blood clots uh, grow vertically under your nail and that could also be an indication of heart disease but your fingers your nails they look perfectly fine yes now please just relax Move your shoulders a bit are you okay yeah good what I would like to do now is to feel your pulse first at one wrist then two wrists at a time okay so give me one hand one pulse okay okay good okay and now your other hand too so I can check both at the same time Uh, feels good too well now I would like to assess something which is called the uh, collapsing pulse yeah it sounds a bit dangerous no it's not it's not just <laughs> what it is is I'm going to take one arm put my fingers on your wrist on your pul pulse here and then I'm going to move your arm very briskly into the air okay so before I begin, do you have any uh, pain in your shoulder? No? Okay, that's good. And we can continue. Okay, give me your hand, please. Yes. Okay. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. That was all good yes okay so if you don't mind I'm going to continue to checking out your face well what is important to me is your eyes and your mouth your tongue okay so I would like you to look at my eyes yes and then I'm going to check the inside of your eyelids okay so I'm going to push one eyelid a bit down. Okay. Now the other side. Okay. Very good. The other. Now I'm going to lift it, your upper eyelid up. So look up for me. Yeah. Okay. Good. The other side. Now, if you can open your mouth for me, please. Yes, and lift your tongue up to the roof of your mouth. Like this. Yes? Okay. Okay. That looks good, too. Well, you're doing absolutely fine. <laughs> Have you noticed? Yes, you're doing really well. Okay. Yes. Are you comfortable? Well, now I'm going to move forward to feeling your chest yes I'm going to feel where your heart is beating on your chest okay so I'm going to touch your 
just with my hands just sit back and I'm going to put my hand right here on your chest okay just breathe normally yes okay very good very good I'm going to give a little bit more pressure okay Are you okay? Good. Yes. Okay. That felt good. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to have a listen over your chest. Okay. So I'm going to Put the stethoscope on your chest, okay? Okay. There you go. Very good. So breathe normally for me, please. Very good. Very good. Lean a bit forward for me, please. Yes, just like that. Yeah, great. So now we're going to breathe together, okay? So we're going to breathe in and out. And when we're breathing out, we're going to hold our breath, okay? Okay. So, one, two, three. Breathe in. Breathe in and out and hold. Very good. Very good. So now I would like to listen to your lungs. Okay. So I'm going to put this on your back. All right. I'm going to stand here. side. Okay. Just breathe in. And out. One more time. Breathe in. And out. Good. One more time. Breathe in. that I heard everything sounds very normal and normal is good in this case yes yeah <laughs> okay so we're ready with the physical examination part the last thing we have to do is the ECG scan yes so what the ECG scan will do is it will measure the electrical activity of your heart yes uh, so like the ultrasound, it's completely pain-free, so you can just relax, be comfortable. Yes? Are you? Great. Okay. So here's what I will do. I will 
um, place these electrodes on your body. I've got four of them, which I will place on your chest. Two of them, which I will place on your wrists. And two of them that I will place on your ankles. Okay? And then I will make sure uh, that I will uh, activate the electrodes uh, with the leads onto the, the monitor and then it will the machine will do its recordings while you just sit back and relax yes so before i can attach the electrodes to your body i'm going to make your skin oil free so the electrodes will uh, will make better contact okay Start with your chest. Okay. Yes, that's enough. And please give me your wrists. Okay. Very good. Your other? Yeah. socks a bit and also clean your ankles okay okay your other one very good okay so that's that now I will grab the electro one by one and I will place them on the points that I just told you, okay? All right. Here's the first one on your chest. Two more to go on your chest. How does it feel? It's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't feel anything actually. It's uh you won't feel uh, any electricity going through your body. No. You will feel actually absolutely nothing okay last one on your chest okay okay all right then two on your wrists. Have you ever done this before? No. Please give me your wrists. 
wrist, okay? If you're, yeah, very good. Very good. So, when we... When I attach the monitor with the electrodes, it's very important that you stay still, okay? Because uh, movement of the body can interrupt the recordings. So actually it's very good, yes, because you can just lay down, relax, please give me your other arm, yeah, and just thrift away with your thoughts, think about maybe some nice things that you're going to do this weekend or last two on your ankles. Are you going to do something nice this weekend? Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. I'm going to put this on your ankle, okay? Okay. Okay. The last one. work, not a lot of work, but to prepare this, but once you're settled, you're okay, okay, I'm going to put this on your other angle, all right, almost done, okay, so that's good. You're all set. I'm going to connect you with the wires. Yes. Okay, first here on your chest. One, two, three, four. Give me your wrist, please. Yes. One, two. Okay, and now your ankles. One, two, okay, so, you're all set now. I will uh, connect you to the monitor and then we just sit back, do nothing. You can close your eyes even, maybe take a little nap. <laughs> if you're completely relaxed, why not? Okay, so I'll connect you to the monitor right now, okay? Okay. Perfect. Wow. You can close your eyes now, whatever you like. In a couple of minutes we have the results, okay? Okay. So... How are you? <laughs> Did you sleep? Yeah, it looked like it. <laughs> yes, well, that's good. You didn't move, so that's the best relaxation you can get, right? While sleeping. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I got the results back and, um, well, they look perfectly normal. Yes, a very nice heartbeat. It's I don't know what else to make of it. It's just your heart is in perfect condition. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Yes. How do you feel about that? Is it a relief? Yeah. Yes. Well, and the discomforts that you described uh, at the beginning of our meeting, yes. It could have several reasons. Maybe stress, maybe... Sometimes you never find out. And since I'm a cardiologist, the only thing I look at is the heart. Yeah. And that's 
very good in your condition in very good condition in your case so you have nothing to worry about okay great well then i'm going to wish you a very pleasant day and maybe we'll see each other again someday okay well goodbye <laughs>